hey y'all so we are back with another makeup tutorial today's video is a cut crease super bold super vibrant and we're using the fruity cutie palette from airy winkle because period so i'm taking my p louise paint and we're going to go ahead and place this all over the lid and this paint is going to assure that our shadows stick really really good and be as vibrant as we want them to be so we're going to take that purple shade and I'm doing like a winged out cut crease today, y'all. I just wanted to have some fun, honestly. I didn't really plan this look. I just was like, you know what? I want to plan some makeup. So let's plan some makeup. And as always, you want to make sure that you're doing layer after layer after layer. That's how you get the vibrancy. That's how you get that good color payoff that you want throughout your eyeshadow process, okay? So boom, we have that. And I'm kind of creating the shape of how I want my cut crease to look as well, y'all. So now we're going to take that pink shade and place it right on top of that purple shade. Remember to tap, 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 pat, 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 swiper, no swiping. So now that I have that pink shade, we have to go back into that purple shade because we kind of lost some of that color. So yeah, it's like a back and forth motion. Now I'm going to take that orange eyeshadow shade and we're going to go ahead and place it right on top of the pink shade. This is so pretty, you guys. Like I had so much fun doing this. And then we went back into that pink shade. So once you lay a color, you're going to lose a color. So you got to apply the previous color if that makes sense. And then we went in with some of that yellow and now I'm going to take some black eyeshadow just to intensify my cut or whatever like that. So when I cut this, you're going to see more of a dimension in my eye. So we lost a little bit of the purple, so we're going to add it back, period. And honestly, y'all, this was so simple, super easy. It took me no time to do this look. And I'm also trying to record for like TikTok and things, so... Yeah, I just did one eye on camera. Now I'm going to take a Q-tip and some micellar water. And when I tell you this is like the best thing to cut the crease with, I want to actually try the P. Louise Carver base. But um, this does really, really good. I love it. It gets all the shadow off with no issues. Anything left on my lid, I'm going to take the makeup wipes from Equate. I love those makeup wipes, y'all. Like, they are so bomb. And we're just going to clean that up, period. And now I'm going to take that P. Louise base again to cut it. It's already cut for us. You see that dimension? You see how it has that little gradient effect going on? So, yeah, we're just doing the easy part and filling it in. Now I'm going to take that green shade from the palette as well. Because period. I love my eyeshadow palette, y'all. It's so pretty. Up next, I'm going to take a yellow shade. And remember to tap, 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 pet, 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 swiper, no swiping. Okay, y'all, so we pretty much have the lid done. I decided not to do a wing because I feel like that would just be too, too much. But I'm taking this eyeliner from LA Girl, 
and we're gonna put it right in the lower lash line the water line and I went over it like four times to get that vibrancy. And I'm gonna take my Big Timer Mascara from the lip bar. And I'm also gonna place my lashes on. This is from Airy Winkle Style Skip to My Lou. And boom, we have our eyes done. I was kind of going for like the Lisa Frank type colors. And I feel like I executed it really, really good. So, period. Get you an Airy Winkle palette if you haven't already. What are you waiting on, okay? So, now we're going to go ahead and finish the face off. Super quick, super simple. And, yeah. I love bold looks, y'all. Like, look at how vibrant that is. Don't play with my palette. Like, don't don't do it don't do it okay <laughs> and now we're gonna take some concealer i did my concealer first this time i mean it's definitely up to you you can do your foundation first or you can do your concealer first it's up to you you make the rules i feel like whenever i do my concealer first it just gives more of like that snatched look and it blends easily you know it looks like a lot y'all but honestly i didn't add a lot of foundation so I let the concealer do most of the work for me. But as you can see, I do have it as like a gradient effect. We went from lightest to darkest. We're just going to blend all of those colors out. Not to like mush them together, but to blend it in a layer, if that makes sense. So you kind of want to make sure that you're jogging your sponge in place. Oh, these colors are just so pretty. Oh, I love me a good eyeshadow, okay? So now I'm going to take my foundation, the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Spiced Room. And boom, we're just going to blend, blend, blend. Tap, tap, tap. Pat, pat, pat. Swiper, no swiping. In every place that we have a cream or a liquid, we want to lock it in place with a powder so it doesn't move throughout the day. I'm using my Maybelline. I love that stuff. Like, that's the OG. OG of OGs. Like, if you don't have that in your makeup kit, I definitely recommend that you guys purchase it because it's been around for so long. But, like, it's so good. You would think that that's a high-end powder for real both of those shades i use shade 35 and 40 some people use 30 you know if you melanin like me i feel like 35 is really really good it has like a peachy tint to it to me but y'all know i gotta go in with my laura i love this stuff she's an og too and we're gonna just kind of lift the face up just a slight bit and then we're gonna add some highlight and we're gonna put some blush on the cheeks and whatnot and I'm going to take my Beauty Blender to just blend it out a little bit because it is very, very pigmented. And then we're going to just chisel the face up just slightly, okay? And honestly, y'all, we're done. All I have to do is my lip and we are finished, okay? And y'all know I'm extra, so I went in with some more of that eyeshadow from the Fruity Cutie palette. I use that white eyeshadow just to open the eyes up a bit more. But look at the colors, though. Mm, 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 mm. I added some more of that liner. And now to do our lips. Y'all know I ain't got no lips, okay? So I have to exaggerate how plump they are, okay? Don't judge me. It just be looking cute when I do it like this. I'm doing some extra blending and now to apply our lip gloss that gloss is so pretty y'all like oh so pretty and then i put this on top girl i was feeling myself y'all like you can never go wrong with some bold eyeshadow and like that little nude lip combo mm -hmm. 
this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating and filming for you guys. I will have my website in my description box listed down below as well as my socials. And yeah, I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, y'all.